Hey, what's happening guys? This is going to be a different type of video today. I thought we would talk a little bit about radio propagation. So, I am using um, a program called WSJT-X, which is this over here on the left side of the screen. It's hooked up to my amateur radio, my Shegu G90. And it is currently, you know, outputting digital signals and receiving digital signals from all over the world. So, over here on the right side of the screen is a website called PSK Reporter. And currently what we're looking at are all the signals sent and received by me on 40 meters, which is the 7 megahertz band, in the last hour. Okay? Now, all these little ones here with the L look like balloons, those are stations that I've heard but haven't heard me. These ones that have the timer on them, they have heard me. So, you know, looking at the entire world here, on 40 meters this morning, and this is March 13th, 2024, around 8 o'clock in the morning. I started this about 7 o'clock in the morning. Right as the, uh, the gray line is kind of in the area, that's the uh, terminator between light and dark. So at 40 meters, I am not really getting out that well. You can see... Probably my furthest one was 1,035 miles. Yeah. And that was into North Dakota in the United States on 40 meters. So, then we start moving up the band. Let's try 30 meters. All right, now 30 meters is much better. You can see I'm getting clear over here to the west coast of the United States into Washington and down here into the Cayman Islands, and I'm even here in a station in Guadalupe. But still, it, it, it's not much. So let's move up the band to 20 meters, which is where I am currently operating now. And you can see pretty much the same uh, same coverage, really. Uh, what we got here? 2140 miles to Washington. Uh, Cayman Islands, fourteen sixty four. But yeah, you can you can see you get the idea there. Now let's go and take a look at in the last twenty four hours on all bands. So this is my radio activity in the last twenty four hours. You can see we got somebody over here in Hawaii. And that's, that's probably the furthest one, right? 4,572 miles. Yeah, that's, that's pretty far. We got a couple up here in Iceland, uh, Finland. And I'm hearing stations in Tokyo, and that is on uh, 10 meters. And that's on 40 meters, wow. So 10 and 40 meters, and we've got Australia coming in here on 12 meters. So it just goes to show you, oh, what's that? That's, uh, that's why, yeah. That just goes to show you that different frequencies travel further depending on oh, a, a, a huge number of factors. But time of day, different frequencies will travel different distances. It also depends on the ionosphere and a lot of other things. But I just thought that was kind of interesting. I thought you guys would like to see it. Let's go back to uh, in the last 30 minutes here. This is what my activity has looked like this morning. So I'm hearing a lot of um, European stations, but they are not hearing me yet. Interesting, I'm not on 40 meters. <laughs> All right, guys, just wanted to share that with you this morning, and uh, hope you have a good day. That's it. I'm out. Peace.